Welcome back to Bomb Bros. Was that you, uh, doing Fox the Lady? Now, do you know your uh, cute little heartbreaker? heartbreaker. Foxy. Anyway. <laughs> so, I have a funny story to tell. Do tell. Why not? Let's get some anecdotes all up in this piece. Yeah. So, I was at work today. Oh, no way. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm at work, you know, doing my work thing. Working? Yeah. I believe that's what that's called. Anyway, sorry. And we had one of me and a coworker of mine who's a close friend of mine now. We were in the back room uh, working in the room that we were assigned to do our job. And um, suddenly a fixer comes up to us. Another worker. Uh, yeah, another with a wor title of fixer. Yeah, because he's maintenance, but around where I work, we call them fixers. But yeah. Anyway, he comes up looking for somebody. And we hadn't seen him, so he goes to leave. And then he said something like, Well, I guess. Um, oh, God. How did he say it exactly? Because that's what made the delivery so great, was the way he said it. That, I, that is what delivery is, is how you say it. Yes. Hey, look, there's a. Hey, the house is slightly more done. Yeah, there's more to it, but it's missing a floor. How in the world did they manage to pull that one off? I don't know. Maybe they started with the roof instead of, you know. Yeah, but look, it's got all this stuff on the the flooring on the outside, but not hey, that. Don't ask questions. Okay. I ask questions. I'm not afraid to ask questions. All right, how did he say what? What way? Yeah. Oh, I can't even remember. And it's depressing because it actually was going to be funny. Because we laughed about it for a good solid minute. What was it? Oh, I'm trying to think here. I, I don't want to say it wrong. I'd rather not say it than to say it wrong. So again, let me okay. think. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe we'll finish that story later. Stay tuned. It was a cliffhanger. Bit of a letdown, in my opinion. Well, I'm calling it a cliffhanger. I'm calling it a letdown. <laughs> Whatever, okay? Potato, potato. Who says potato? Let me ask you that one. It's a potato. Potato. That's like a way you say it if you really just want to sound pretentious. Mmm, yes, French fried potatoes. Look at him. Oh, wow, he is fat. Now I'm not eating too many acorns. Got nothing left for next winter now. Do you have to bring him some nuts? Yeah, I might have to go gather up some nuts. Oh, God, dude, just let him. Ugh, if he's too lazy and stupid. What was that little squeak? He let out. He was like, oh. I think that was him crying because he doesn't have any acorns. Which is Maybe depressing. he should have thought that before he got, you know, freaking stupid and ate all his nuts. Yeah. That's what happens if you... I think you skip some uh, music notes. Probably. Yummy, juicy caterpillar. Nice. That'd, be, that'd be cool. Every time you threw a caterpillar into their mouth, they were talking to you. Like, why are you doing this to us, Gulp? It's called the food chain. My god. Burp. I refill now. Needs more sleep. My god. Man. Five caterpillars filled you up? Dude, look at what it did to him. It made him huge. Maybe we should switch to an all caterpillar diet. Uh, I'm gonna let you try it out first. Okay. And then let me know how that goes. And I think you missed some music notes back there. Don't worry, I am gonna go back. I'm you, just. You're gonna do the B. I'm back. I'm so far up though. I just don't. Yeah. Okay, this is the top of the tree. I don't don't think anything's gonna be different in this room. This is the the same either way with that one jiggy there. So yeah. It's a long way to the top if you wanna get a jiggy. Yeah. That really hurt. Yeah, it's. I could hear the pain in your voice. Oh I'm, God. You sound you. That sounded like it hurt you a little. See? Look, you missed some. Go back. Like, right there. See? I see, see it. See it? I saw. Yeah, I got a little excited. Sorry. I I just, I'm trying to keep us from having to backtrack too much. Yeah, well, I mean, I have to backtrack well, look, here because... Let me tell you, I can't just jump off the top of this tree during summer. You know why? Because there's no water to catch me. No, not that, you know, you, you could hit it anyway. Yeah. Oh! Sorry. Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna... You know what? I think I'm gonna hit you in the testicles. Please... Please don't. Alright. I won't. That, Ow, my testicles! 
I didn't hit him in the testicles. Just, just throwing that yeah, out there. No testicles were harmed in the filming of this episode. Maybe a different one, but not. Oh. Hang on, wait, maybe. Ah. Oh. So close. Oh, it's so close. So, so close. So, where's this uh, yellow. Jinjo! I don't know. I haven't explored everything yet. There's another caterpillar. So, there were extras? Yeah, but you only had to get five of them. See? That's cool, though. Back up, you know? Yeah. yeah just do the leg thing, man. I was figured I'd make it, but they Dang. did that on purpose just to yep. mislead me. Oh, it's hot. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, Too ah, hot oh, for oh, magic. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh yeah, I forgot. You like have to transform in spring and then come back to each individual season to do the B. Anything that requires you to be transformed, you actually have to. You can only transform in one season. That is interesting. I forgot about that. Slightly uh, aggravating because that inconveniences me a little, but I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm slightly inconvenienced. I hate this forever. Oh, look over there. It's our friend. The bull? Oh, it's Gooby! <laughs> oh no, it's you two again. Gooby thought he was safe here. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Oh. <laughs> you stop doing that! It I mean, took me ages to find Mawaza! Why did the camel turn Asian? I was going for angry German, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Right. That's why I said... Vasa. Oh, you said it so quickly I couldn't really tell. I was, I was trying to commit, man. I feel like you should be committed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, us. I can go for some sushi, man. Really? Yeah. What put you in the mood for sushi? I don't know. I can just go for some sushi. I was gonna say we're not seeing I've any got... we're not oh, seeing man. anything fish related in this episode that I I don't know, of. man. I just want some sushi. I think I've explored everything in summer. What about so, the Jinjo? I was gonna say I haven't found the Jinjo yet, though, which maybe really you need the, uh, which really bothers maybe me. Maybe you need to transform into the uh, the bee to get it. it maybe. Ah, ah, crap! Man, I am like not doing so hot all of a sudden at this uh, this platform in here. Three D platforming is always harder than two D. Oh well, yeah. But that, you know, given the whole fact that you have a camera to work with as well. Yeah. Plus moving around in a three-dimensional space. Yeah. But they make up for that in modern 2D platformers by making it to where you have to do these precise, as all guess can be, jumps. So I'm kind of upset. You're kind of upset? There was this game coming out. PS4, PC, it was called Aragami. You played... As a stealthy guy. Yeah. I'm listening. Demon thing. And you freaking, um. So you just gonna chill? This is the easiest way to do this. Um. Yeah, they come so fast. Oh, okay, you didn't run out. Anyway, it was like a stealth game, like a sweet stealth game. Because I've been in a Mark of the Ninja, which I still need to finish. But, um. We've been so busy with all this work and stuff for the channel. But anyway. And I was looking really forward to it. And I heard that it's not a bad game, except, like, there's, like, horrible frame rate issues and other things that just, like, it's... Uh, normally I would, you know, forgive that. Kind of like Borderlands 2 on the Vita. That's something I can forgive, you know? Yeah, honestly, I didn't find Borderlands 2 on the Vita to be that bad. The controls... The controls took a little bit of adjusting, but I... Yeah, I really, I didn't... I really wish they came out with a another thing that would give an LNR2 physical button, not the touchpad on the back. But other than that, I, I was comfortable with it. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad. I mean, I knew going in that it was going to be on a handheld. It was going to have limitations. Anyway, enough talk about that, Rope. We'll stop fanboying over Borderlands for anyway, a second. Um, it, and among of the... Uh... Where is that little yellow bastard at? <laughs> Um, he might be in that beaver's lair, so we'll just uh, make it a at, point to come at back. At the entrance, turn left, hidden in the grass at the corner. Oh, there See, he is. See, that's that's why, because he was. Oh, you're using a wiki. So, 
I'm just trying to streamline things a little bit. Yeah, fair enough, I guess. But maybe part it, of the maybe it, maybe it shouldn't these... hurt your cred that you know you've beat you've hundred percent this game many times. I have. So it's like you, you know it's like it's okay. Yeah, I guess. Um, but anyway, apparently there's this game breaking glitch in that game where it's like it just once you do it, it's like completely corrupts your save data and just erases it. And it's like seriously, it's like I could get over frame rate, but it's like that a, a game breaking like, glitch. Come on, guys. Yeah, you gotta like, be better now. I was excited for it because I've been getting into stealth games. Comment any stealth games that you recommend personally. I don't know if they'll end up on the channel. What was the question of the day you were gonna ask in the last video? Um, remember? And then I was, I was like, no, I because mean, we asked them about Mountain Dew. How do you like your eggs? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but oh yeah, from I when saw, we broke the egg, egg, from when we egg broke egg. the egg open, and um, but no, uh, a, ah. a, a real one. What's your favorite genre of games, since I was just talking about stealth games? Do you like 3D action platforming, 3D action adventure, um, a building game, uh, FPS, MOBAs, RPGs, you know? Or any combination thereof. Yeah, you know? Is there... Favorite yeah. game genre and favorite game in that genre, if you have one. Oh, uh, yeah. Like classic RPGs, there's also new RPGs. Like Dark Souls, Darn it. Um, and then you've got FPS RPGs like Borderlands. You know, RPG is incredibly splashable now that you mention it. Yeah, all they got to do is make a level up system, and then it's an RPG. Pretty much, I mean. But I, I, I love skill trees. Any game with skill trees and you can change your playstyle is awesome. Not to plug it in, but Mark of the Ninja, and you know, um, there was another game I was just thinking of. Diablo. Diablo, Dark Souls. I mean, there's different. There's ten different classes in Dark Souls 3, and literally you can play each one of those completely different because you can customize each weapon with different gems that make them like the scale of the level up different. Huh? And it's like it's so deep and it's awesome and it's fun, but it's hard as. Ugh. Anyway, we're in fall. If you hadn't said. It. Ah. Oh yeah, the water's back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, Leslie, what's your favorite game genre? I, I mean, I know we're big gamers, and it's hard to really narrow it down, but, you know. I mean, I know this is your favorite game of all time, you said, right? Well, one of them. I mean, it's it's probably like, if it's not my favorite, then it's like at the top of the list anyway. Yeah. But as far as my favorite genre... We're talking about the RPG thing. I'm, I'm of a similar opinion. I really enjoy... RPG. I love it when RPG elements are introduced into a game. Yeah, it makes it, it makes every game better in my opinion as long as it's done right. As long yeah, as long as it's done properly. Fifth jiggy, we're halfway there, and we're looking good now. <coughs> Nothing's gonna get in. Nothing is gonna get in our way because we are halfway there. Yeah. I used to love that show. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a stupid show for, you know, guys in their 20s to like. But hey, I was 17 when it came out, so roast me. <laughs> Come at me, bros. <laughs> yeah. I was, hey, I remember we were watching it in 2011. Hey, you were my age. Younger. Shoot, that was that long ago, wasn't it? Because it was, that was when I had my surgery, my stomach yeah. surgery. I was in the hospital. As the episode was premiering, I had a catheter put in. Yeah. That's a good thing to associate with a show, right? It was a good show. Yeah. Think about catheters every By time. By the way, I'm, I don't want to say the name of the show. It, it was kind of like one of those things where it's like, I'm not necessarily... It, it was a guilty pleasure. You know? Like Taylor Swift. She's everybody's guilty pleasure, let's be honest. Oh. <laughs> what? Seriously? No, no, not that. I mean, you falling and still jumping and... Yeah. No, I was saying, though, like, seriously, like, you don't have to like Taylor Swift herself or how irritating her, uh... Oh, my, oh God. my God. Hey. Okay, stop moving too much. This looks like some intense platforming. I'm not going to lie. The leaves got smaller. Oh, they did? Yeah, because it's fall. They're dying. Imagine if they actually did... Ball as you you had a timer when you jump. Ah. 
No, no. Packer head. Anyway, my favorite game genre would probably be platformer. Oh yeah. Which is an again another splashable genre of games, but I mean classic, hard, hard super as hard platforms. balls platforming. Ah. Uh, because you know I'm a I'm. Hey. Uh, music well, note. You're a glutton for punishment. I play Mega Man and Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you no. hate yourself, don't you? <laughs> I just enjoy the. Chat. Look, a friend. Ah, out of my way, bull. Oh, was there ginger up there? <laughs> yep. So the last one is the blue one, and he's sitting on top, Mumbo Skull. So you were right. Of course I was. I said it. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that was that was just something else. Yeah, I said it. I well, said it. Well, put yourself out there. I right? said it because I can. Crap. So apparently fall is the season of the music note. Because there are music notes all over this season. Ugh. Darn it. It's alright. No, you're answering, not. Answering a text. A text massage. Yeah, it was. It was pretty important. Was it? Yeah. Okay, I believe you. Good. Well, I have no reason not to. Yeah. Okay. Well, he. I was thinking it's only spring, but let's go make sure. See. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. It's a worm. Yeah. I'm a busy. Sweet mini leaves. No magic today. Seriously, you can't take two seconds. Turn you up. got skulls on your wall. What do you care if there's some leaves on the music floor? Notes up top. Are they, yeah, that's right. Like I said, this is the season of the music note. Is it? Oh yeah. There's because more. Because there's all there's um oh what was it? I think it was like uh there's a there's a specific number. There was like fourteen in every season, except for this one, and it was like all all the rest all of the them. Rest. No, oh. it, wasn't, it wasn't fourteen. It was probably like. 16 or something. Well, if it was 16... It'd be 48? Yeah. So it'd be 52 in this one? Yeah, by itself. I believe that. I, I remember it being a pretty big number. Yeah, because look, see, there's a bunch of them like that over there in the yeah. distance. But you have to be transformed to get them, so... We'll, we'll be back. The Venus fly traps. Yeah. All right, let me think here. I've got a... I've got a... Where'd that come from? Huh. I, I said Venus, and it reminded me of Venus, and it reminded me of my Wiener. By Bowling for Soup. And, yeah, so... Good old song. My whole brain is essentially like Wikipedia syndrome. You start looking up World what? War II facts, and you end up as... On, on, what was it like, uh... There was one thing, I forgot what it was, it was like a challenge where it was like... No matter what, oh, yeah, what yeah, no yeah. matter what page you go oh to, my God, dude. you'll be able to get to one certain page. I think it was, I Hitler, think Hitler, the Holocaust, maybe. It was either Hitler or it was Kevin Bacon. I can't remember no, which one of them it was. There's a, it's a movie trivia game. It's called Seven Degrees to Kevin Bacon, and you can name any movie, and like say like The Mask with Jim Carrey. And then you name another movie with Jim Carrey. Then you pick another actor in that movie. Or actress. Yeah, but actresses like to be called actors now. Oh, okay. That, that's a thing, I believe. It's 2016, Weston. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, within seven movies, you'll get to a movie with Kevin Bacon. And, like, some people are good at that game. Yeah, meaning like that they will make they are just good trivia movie trivia people. I bet my my friend Cody could do that game like a champion. Yeah. He loves movies. If you've seen this, hi Cody. What's up, man? Hey, the floor's finally in there, yeah. but it's infested with bees. Good job. Sheesh. There's nothing in there now, is there? No, just that bee <clears throat> thing. Okay, we should probably call the episode. I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hang on. Like, we can at least establish what we're going to be doing here soon. Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? Yeah. Have you seen my nuts? There's one down there. Okay, next time, 
Got to collect them. We'll be the nut gatherers. I also got to gather one more. Uh, oh, there's two there. What is going on there? Uh, you just got to jump and fall? Or, you know, be a bee that can fly. They're, shoe they're shoehorning in the, the bee difficulty a little bit there, I feel. All right, but anyway, next time. And we're going to go feed the baby. But we are going to wait till the next episode, guys. So next time, see y'all later. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one, and we'll see you at the rest of fall going into winter.